are ringing in the new year in Brazil. These are live pictures from Rio de Janeiro, where a huge crowd is celebrating with a firework display at Copacabana Beach. Oh, good morning here in Singapore, and here are the headlines this hour. U.S. President Donald Trump says he believes North Korea's Kim Jong-un will keep his word, despite his threat to resume nuclear tests and introduce a new strategic weapon. Meanwhile, reports say the North Korean leader is skipping a highly anticipated New Year's speech. Bushfires in Australia claim a third victim this week, bringing the death toll to 12 since blazes broke out in spring. Fires have engulfed towns in New South Wales and Victoria, decimating property and leaving residents trapped. The US president says he does not want to go to war with Iran as tensions flare up over violent protests at the US embassy in Baghdad. Our top story this hour, US President Donald Trump has responded to the latest comments by North Korea's leader. He says he believes Kim Jong-un will keep his word. This despite Mr. Kim's earlier comments that there is no longer any reason to commit to a moratorium on nuclear and intercontinental ballistic missile tests, vowing to continue developing the country's nuclear program. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has also responded, saying he hopes North Korea will choose peace and prosperity over conflict and war. He adds that it would be deeply disappointing if Mr. Kim were to renege on commitments that he had made to Mr. Trump. Earlier, Mr. Kim stopped short of closing the door on talks with the United States, saying the scope and depth of the country's